All right, let's try a more difficult factoring problem. And again, we're going to start with what I call best practice of factoring out anything we can. So these are all even numbers, and so I'm going to start there and take a 2 out. I think that's all we can do. So 15x squared plus 11x, yep, that's definitely all we can do, and minus 14. And now, that's all we can do. We're going to use the calculator. We're going to go into this polysolve mode. So second and then polysolve, which is above the cosine key. It's uh, squared, so second order, quadratic, whatever you want to call it. Go into that. Our A value is, I'm going to hit clear and then type 15. Not, I don't worry about the 2. I just put the 15 there. Enter. Clear. 11. Enter. Clear. Negative 14. Enter. And then solve. Enter. I get two roots. I get x1 is 2 thirds. And I hit enter again. x2 is negative 7 fifths. And now if I want to find the factors, I, I'm going to do the first step is exactly what we did last time. So we still have this 2 out front that we factored out earlier. That's this guy here. And then we do x minus 2 thirds. We always are going to flip the signs. When doing factors, flip the sign. Factor flip. And then here we have x plus 7 fifths. So it was negative 7 fifths. That was the root. So the factor is x plus 7 fifths. Now, this is where it's weird. If you ever get a fraction like this, we're not going to go into why it works, but we're going to, what we're always going to do is we're going to take the denominator, 3 in this case, and move it out front of the x. So this 2 stays the same. That 3 comes out front of the x, and the numerator kind of falls down. So it's 3x minus 2. Or you could think of it by, as multiplying both of these things by 3. So this would be 3x, and then the 3 would cancel with that 3 in the denominator, and you'd be left with the negative 2. Here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take this 5, oops, and then we're going to move it out front. So we have 5x plus 7. I have now factored that bad boy, and that was way easier than trying to do this with the A times C, whatever, adds up to B method, whatever you want to call that. Factor by grouping is kind of the, probably what that's usually called. So there you go, that's how you use the TI in this instance. And oh, and by the way, when you're done, easiest thing is to just hit clear, oh yeah, that doesn't do anything, and then hit shift, and then quit because that actually does work. You're welcome.